myself Subrata Mukherjee and I am working as Associate Professor in Mohadevananda Mahavidyalaya Barakpur. Today I am going to discuss a problem on depreciation. Why depreciation is charged? When the asset is put to use, it becomes obsolete or it gradually reduces its value because of wear and tear. So you need to allocate a part of the cost over the useful life of the asset. In any pr problem on depreciation, you need to focus what is the method of depreciation which is in use, whether it is a straight line method or a reducing balance method. So you need to identify this. Next, which is the what is the accounting period, whether it is a calendar year or it is a accounting year. That is from whether it starts from April to December or it starts from uh, April to March or it's from January to December. So you need to see whether uh, what is the accounting period. A company whose accounting year is the calendar year purchased on 1st April 2000 machinery costing rupees 30,000. It purchased further machinery on 1st October 2000 costing rupees 20,000 and on 1st July 2001 costing rupees 10,000. On 1st January 2002, one third of the machinery which was installed on 1st April 2000 became obsolete and it was sold for rupees 3000. So how the machinery account would appear in the books of the company? It being given that the machinery is depreciated by the fixed installment method at 10% per annum. So in any problem on depreciation you need to first identify which is the accounting year. In this case your accounting year is the calendar year that is from 1st January to 31st December. The next observation is which, which is the method of depreciation that is being followed in the firm. In this problem we see the fixed installment method and the rate being 10% per annum. In the problem of depreciation, the main thing is the working. Now in this question, it is mentioned that on 1st April 2000, the firm purchased a machine for 30,000. Now. You, if you read the problem, this machine will be sold out. So, you need to first read the problem slowly, try to understand it and identify which machine will be discarded. And so you need to first, at first you need to identify which machine you have, you have discarded and what is the cost, what is the cost of that machine that was discarded later on. So, on first April 2000, you have purchased one machine for 30,000. One third of this machine will be sold out, will be discarded. So, initially, I segregate this rupees 30,000 into two parts 10,000, one third, which will be discarded, and 20,000 that will be continued. So, on 1st April 2000, that rupees 30,000, this is the total amount of purchase. I have identified. Next, on 1st October 2000, third machine was purchased for rupees 20,000. So, the accounts will be closed on 31st December. So, by depreciation at the rate of 10%, at the rate of 10% on 31st 12th, 2000. So, this will be on first M1, uh, this will be charged for 9 months. So 10% into 10,000 is 1, uh, sorry, this will be 750. 750, 10% of 10,000 is 1,000 into 9 by 12, into 9 by 12. The depreciation is for 9 months. And on the second machine, this is for 1,500, this is also for 9 months. And on third machine, depreciation will be for only three months. 
so written down value on 1101 will be 18 and uh, this is 9250 18500 and 19500 now on again on 1st july 2001 machine 4 will be purchased for rupees 10000 Then again depreciation will be charged on 31st December 01. So here this since fixed installment method is charged. So 1000 will be the amount of depreciation. Then uh, 2000 and again this will be 2000 and in this case depreciation will be charged for six month so written down value on 1102 this is 8250 16500 17500 and this is for 9500 now the first machine will be discarded on 1102 so scrap so what is the value of scrap 3000 so you have incurred loss on sale is rupees 5250 now this machine will be sold out and closed down now on 31st december there is no more transaction in the year 2002 so depreciation will be charged on 31st december 02 year 2000 again 2000 and this is for 1000 uh, 16 uh, this is the Value will be fourteen thousand five hundred, fifteen thousand five hundred, and eight thousand five hundred. Within one screen, in a one screen, I am bringing it. So this is the value of machine on first January two thousand three. Now I will prepare the ledger. So machinery ledger, machinery account. I am writing with a sensor, so the handwriting is not proper. So I am extremely for, sorry for that. So I am trying my best to write, to make my handwriting in a proper order. So to bank on 1st April, you see there was a purchase of machinery for rupees 30,000. I have written here. Then again on 1st October to bank account 20,000. Then on 31st December 00, 00 by depreciation account 2750 and this is your balancing figure 47,250 so this is 50,000 then on 1101 to balance BD 47,250 then again on 1st July 01, you have purchased to bank 10,000. And on 31st December 01, by depreciation account 5,500. So, this depreciation you can easily see from the working. You, you need to add up the values of depreciation that was charged on 31st December 01, and you will find out. To be 5500 simply 2000 plus 1000 plus 2000 plus 500 and what is the balancing figure by balance cd 51750 so i am not uh, writing any uh, figure which is not there in the working so all the figures that i'm writing in this ledger i have taken all the figures from the working So on 1st January 2002, to balance BD 51,750. So on 1st January 
2002 there was a transaction of scrap so by bank this is the value of scrap is 3000 and on the same day you have to incur a loss on sale this is the loss on sale 5250 then on 31st december 2002 by depreciation will be charged 5000 and this is the balancing figure 38500 51750 51750 so all the workings in all this value you will find in the Uh, in, in your workings all the values you will find it in the workings hope all of you have understood this problem properly and I request again the students of commerce who view my video to subscribe my channel you will get regular videos on different topics in accounts costing financial management Thank you.